Hi, I'm Jerry Shadle from the Departments of Pathology and Genetics at Yale University. My colleagues and I have completed a study described in our article in Cell that illuminates a new pathway through which mitochondrial stress leads to hearing loss in mice. Our results shed significant new light into maternally inherited deafness and age-related hearing loss in humans, as well as the complex tissue specificity of mitochondrial disease pathology. To understand our story better, we need to venture inside mitochondria, which are essential cellular organelles that are required for uh, energy production via the process of respiration and also involved in cell death. Uh, the actual study is based on a specific mitochondrial mutation, which is in mitochondrial DNA, which is inherited from your mom. And this mutation causes uh, a maternally inherited form of deafness. The mutation itself is actually in the mitochondrial ribosomal RNA, which is part of the mitochondrial ribosome. Uh, and mitochondrial ribosomes uh, express the genes that are in mitochondria that are essential for respiration and their energetic function. Specifically, uh, what led us into the study was that the mutation itself uh, causes cell death, or a process called apoptosis. And it, it turns out that the mutation per se is not what causes the cell death, but rather aberrant methylation of the RNA in a nearby site on the molecule. Uh, what we had known previously from a gene that we had cloned in 2002 is that this is the enzyme that actually does that methylation. And what we found is that when you overexpress an enzyme and make too, have too much methylation of the ribosomal RNA, that also caused cell death. So the obvious connection was to look for methylation on the ribosomal RNA. And what we found is that the mutation itself led to hypermethyl uh, hypermethylation of the ribosomal RNA and apoptosis. So that made us put two and two together, really, that we could perhaps overexpress the methyltransferase, give us more methylation, and cause the apoptosis and cell death pathology that would lead to a model for this maternally inherited form of deafness. A major outstanding question in the area of mitochondrial disease pathology is the uh, often complicated tissue specificity of the diseases. Uh, our study provides new insight into this as well uh, by elucidating what the molecular mechanism underlying the apoptosis is in the cells containing the deafness mutation. What we found is that the mitochondria from these cells actually produce more reactive oxygen species and that this is activating a signaling pathway through AMP kinase uh, that activates a nuclear transcription factor called E2F1 and this engages a apoptotic gene expression program that causes cells to die. What's interesting is that this pathway is not activated in all tissues. It's uh, activated partially in some tissues, but it's only fully activated in two particular tissues in the inner ear, the spiral ganglion neurons and the stria vascularis, and causes death of these cells, which is what we believe is underlying the deafness in the mouse model. In order to test hearing in, in mice, we need to use an electrical uh, system where we monitor the electrical activity due to sound exposure. And we use a uh, program that's designed to measure auditory brainstem response. And Lay is showing some signals that we measure in response to uh, tone pips. And as you can see, as you decrease the sound intensity, the size of the response decreases, such that at the lowest intensity, there will be uh, no visible response. And that's considered to be threshold, the lowest sound the animal can hear. The overarching uh, importance of this study is several fold in our minds. Uh, first, we have elucidated a novel signaling pathway, whereas mitochondrial reactive oxygen species are acting as signaling molecules as opposed to the function no that's normally ascribed to them, which are, is a damaging role. So they think this is very novel. Uh, second, we have developed really one of the first mouse models of a known pathogenic human point mutation. And this model will be instrumental in deciphering how mitochondrial dysfunction leads to tissue-specific pathology, which, as I've already alluded to, is a, is a key issue in the field. Uh, interestingly, patients that have this mutation are susceptible to deafness from environmental factors, such as aminoglycosides. And so the model will also be very applicable to trying to understand the environmental impact of, uh, of how different environmental toxins and uh, uh, stresses can impact hearing in humans. Finally, uh, the pathology that we observed in the mouse models, the loss of the stria vascularis uh, 
cells and the spiral ganglion neurons is observed in age-related hearing loss, normal age-related hearing loss that we all or most of us will experience. So the mitochondrial ROS signal to E2F1 is, is involved in the normal age-related hearing loss. This would be a novel therapeutic pathway to go after and to try to prevent uh, age-related hearing loss.